basically just not a work of 10 days, 15 days or 20 days. This took us almost a plan of an year. Okay, due to the help of Varsha ma'am and uh, a good knowledge of chess really helped us. Basically we want, Prafu sir was already there for uh, chess industry from last many years and he was the only one who has been doing it. But with his support we are able to achieve this much big and now our aim is basically to create and get a Mumbai into a high level and we need to fight for the Souths. Okay? So we want a Mumbai to get a good competitor of South as well as our main idea and main is to provide a good knowledge, a good level of teaching to the kids. Okay, We are up to here not only for teaching purpose, we have a library sessions as well Okay, where the students can refer their books and this club is open for 24 by 7. Okay, it's not going to be for a few hours and our dream is like we have been seeing like medical stores, clubs are being open for 24 7 but this is the only club who will be open for 24 by 7 and any of the players, just not a player who want to learn chess professionally, not only them but the player who wish to play like an hobby player can also join us. We will be doing weekly tournaments from where most of the Pune city like Pune, Gujarat is also going to participate. The first tournament which we are going to conduct is on the 3rd of February uh, and we already got a good response and we are expecting a good response now as well. So, so what's your take on, you know, on this? As he said, once talking this right now, he said we will be competing with South. We have seen so many talent coming from Mumbai, especially in cricket. Why can't we get a good talent from the chess? Uh, like uh, that was what I was uh, told in uh, my inaugural address that basically Mumbai was the hub of chess. Uh, if you like uh, see from the onset that uh, first national champion Mr. R.B. Sapri was from uh, Mumbai and uh, then the first even the first uh, Indian national woman champion uh, they were also from Mumbai. In fact the Khadilkar sisters they dominated for 10 years. They did not allow anybody to win. And then you see after Sapre, then we see Grandmaster Praveen Dipse winning national seven times. So it was like total domination. But as I said, like uh, uh, we did not, you know, like take advantage of that momentum. Slowly, like when Anand became the world junior champion in 1987, there, you know, like uh, thousands of children uh, in Chennai, they, you know, in or basically you can take the entire south, they got a lot of impetus and uh, momentum. And of course, they you know like uh, put in a lot of efforts into training, and uh, that is the result uh, we see now today that Chennai is uh, you know like the mecca of Indian chess, and uh, we were left behind. Uh, we did in fact you know like we are not able to produce any grandmaster after Pravin Dipse. Only after something around uh, 27 years we saw a second grandmaster. City has only two. That is very unfortunate part. Whereas if you take Chennai, more than uh, 30 grandmasters. So that is, you know, the bridge to be built, a chess culture needs to be created. Sadly, the city is lacking a chess culture, uh, which, you know, would like take students to upper level. And now whatever, you know, like uh, this academy has started you know, to be a uh, uh, wonderful ground for kids uh, to own their skills, to learn chess, and then go on to the higher level. So this type of academy naturally will help uh, in people in uh, getting this facility uh, which hitherto was not available and I think this is the foundation from where they can come up. Do you think it's a good start? You know, we got a little, little late in this case. Uh, honestly, yes, we are late. Uh, means far, far late. And I think it would take a um, lot of catching to do. Uh, something means like, not only like uh, say Daria or me or like other coaches, everybody has to work hard together and uh, has to create a culture which was earlier there. So that is which is uh, sadly lacking, we have to work hard. I feel it's just, you know, keep on dedicating, doing the work and I think the result should be. Uh, why to say Mumbai? Why not to say for country? Why why do we have to be specific for Mumbai? I, see, I feel that chess is the most important game and a sports for the country because it develops not only a child, a child's brain, brain it also helps them in academics. So I feel that chess is important for Mumbai as well as for country. Yeah, I do agree with her because it's like individual mental development of a child. 
nowadays uh, all kids are busy in mobile gaming like pubg and all they are like it's a uh, uh, not that uh, you know useful for the person but if you play chess then you have like many things critical thinking mental development uh, sportsmanship so it's, re it's really important and in chess we used to think like how front person what they are thinking so it's in business and career it's very important I would like to uh, I would like to add on uh, also as uh, ma'am said that nowadays children are more gadget friendly. Chess is also one of the sports which even can help children to be online because you can even play chess online. So physically also you can play to develop your critical thinking, your academic development, but also to have that a gadget feel they can also play chess online. Uh, from childhood I love playing chess and when I saw Dhairiya Vagela, he is my uh, school friend's son. So I have seen him uh, passion and focus about chess and uh, I really uh, felt great uh, as he was like playing international games. And wherever he goes, he used to play chess and many tournaments and I, I found uh, I should support him. Actually, me, uh, first out, I'll tell you, uh, my wife, Parshal Anand, uh, she talked about this, uh, like, total goal, this project. And uh, there, there is, uh, he's very close to us, okay. So, actually, myself, uh, I am garment exporter, okay. And we have a cafe branch. So, for me, this is the first time experience. Coaches. So I motivate to my wife ki, okay, we'll start a chase game with cafe. So it will be good experience for us. And uh, we very thankful to Dere also and my wife also. Uh, like in future uh, we are planning to uh, open those like more chess uh, games zone. So like uh, like I will tell you now like जो देख रहे हैं हम लोग बच्चों में जो अभी मोटिवेशन देख रहे हैं और उनका इंटरेस्ट देख रहे हैं तो उसको देख के हम लोग भी अंदर से मोटिवेट हो रहे हैं कि ऐसे और विल थोड़े से तीन चार और ऐसे गोएम जोन स्टार्ट करें ताकि बॉम्बे में जैसे और गेम्स हैं जैसे लाइक बैडमिंटन है क्रिकेट है क्रेजी कितने लोग हैं सो so, लाइक like, ये भी वैसे प्लेटफॉर्म पर हम लोग सोच रहे हैं प्लानिंग कर रहे हैं लेके आने के लिए सो so, यही मैं बोलना चाह रहा हूँ और थैंक्स मेरी टीम को और चेस जो इन्होंने क्रिएट किया है धैर्य ने थैंक यू वेरी मच मैं तो यही बोलना चाहूँगा कि मैं मतलब बहुत जगह गया लेकिन बहुत अच्छा यहाँ पे जो धैर्य सर का एक ड्रीम था कि गांधीवाली में यहाँ पे चेस का एक अच्छा सा एकेडमी स्टैंडर्ड होना चाहिए और जिस तरह वर्षा में उनका सपोर्ट है बहुत अच्छा है तो इससे क्या है कि बच्चों लोगों के अंदर एक अच्छा मोटिवेशन जाएगा कि हमको कहीं दूर नहीं जाना है घर के नज़दीक में ही एक अच्छा सा एकेडमी है चेस ब्रेंस करके सिक्सटी फोर जो काफ़ी हेल्पफुल रहेगा और जो खुद धैर्य सर खुद एक इंटरनेशनल रेटेड प्लेयर है जिनका रेटिंग भी साढ़े सत्रह सौ प्लस है और बहुत अच्छे प्लेयर ही है प्लेयर भी है साथ में एक हम अच्छा कोच भी है तो उसका एडवांटेज मिलेगा और ये जो लुक दिखने को मिल रहा है अच्छा अच्छा चेस बोर्ड है अच्छा क्वालिटी का सब कुछ है तो इससे प्लेयर जो खेलेंगे इनको ऐसा लगेगा कि मैं मतलब ग्रैंड मास्टर का टूर्नामेंट गया खेलने के जैसे बड़ा बड़ा टूर्नामेंट होता है तो इंटरनेशनल मास्टर ग्रैंड मास्टर आते तो वहाँ पे इस तरह का व्यवस्था रहता है तो जैसे मैं चार कंट्री जा चुका थाईलैंड जा चुका श्रीलंका जा चुका नेपाल जा चुका भूटान भूटान जा चुका लेकिन वहाँ पर जा भी खेला लेकिन ये जो व्यवस्था में देखने को मिल रहा ना ये काफ़ी वंडरफुल है बहुत ही मतलब अच्छा है जितना तारीफ किया जाए मतलब धैर्य सर को वर्षा मेम को सर को बाकी यहाँ का टीम को बहुत मतलब काबिल तारीफ है बहुत ही अच्छा मतलब इसका रिजल्ट भी अच्छा आने वाले समय में बच्चे लोगों को अच्छा लाभ मिलेगा और निश्चित ही मतलब बच्चे लोग मतलब अच्छा करेंगे 